So this is a, a video just uh, quickly showing off the uh, OP1 export tool which will export uh, samples sliced in Renoise uh, into an uh, OP1 compatible format. So uh, yeah, apologies for the um, crappy video recording. I'm doing that on my phone because I don't have the right equipment and whatnot. But I think you'll get the idea on basic usage uh, of this. And um, uh, if you've not used Renoise before, there's a bunch of videos online which will take you through its slicing functions. But in effect, it's kind of it's got a built-in sample editor and a slicer uh, similar to uh, Recycle. Um, so anyway, um, so once you've installed the tool, fire up Renoise and just load in uh, some some breakbeats. Um, so I've done that already here, and you can see that up here. I've got uh, three samples loaded, so I'll just go through those. Uh, so the first one, just a couple of just a breakbeat sample. Um, play that at different pitches. And um, so yeah, I'm gonna to open the tool. You just go to the uh, tools menu at the top, and if you flip that open, you'll see in there the OP1 export tool. Fire that up, and you'll get this little GUI popping up. And so what this tool lets you do is create some evenly numbered slices in the sample. So it defaults to 16 slices and you also there's an option to slice things at the zero crossings so you can avoid some of the pops and clicks um, and that's enabled by default so I tend to leave that on. Um, <clears throat> so yeah if you're happy with that then you can just um, click on slice and you'll see now there's uh, a bunch of slices 16 slices already made um, for this one and you can preview those slices by uh, clicking on here so what I want to do is export those into an AIF format which would be compatible with the OP1 and so you just click on this button export OP1 and then you can just give it a name so I'm just gonna call it break uh, and we'll save that okay um, so next I'll go to the um, next sample and by the way this tool will work on the currently selected sample so uh, yeah so just make sure whatever sample you've got selected you can keep the tool open and so this is just a kind of classic amen break and, and again I'm just going to create um, 16 slices on that and export that we'll call that Amen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Replace that. Okay. And then we've got the last one. And I'm not going to use the slicing function on this. Uh, so this is kind of like a kind of hip hop break. And um, and Renoise has its own slice detection uh, system here. Uh, if you click on this button, this is your sensitivity and you can click this button and it will automatically it'll do like this uh, transient detection and so what that's done is it's already found the peaks in the sample so they're not evenly spaced um, it's Renoise using its own internal splicing functions to do that rather than this evenly spacing slicing um, but it doesn't matter it's any slices that are created in the sample um, this tool will export them um, and preserve those slice positions um, so we'll export that as well let's call it up and yeah we'll save that so I've created those three samples next thing I want to do is load them into the OP1 Okay, so now that I've loaded the uh, samples into the OP1 as you would normally, uh, we'll just try and uh, load these in and uh, see what you can do with them. So, um, yeah, just load it in as normal. As you can see, I've created those three samples there. Uh, yeah, let's start with the Amen. And, yeah, so we've got that. So we can just listen to the individual slices now. Yeah, and you can see that, um, yeah, they're pretty much the slice positions that were in Renoise um, are preserved. And so you can then start to do things with, um, let's try the endless sequencer. Uh, yeah, so you can go.
Yeah, so that, that works quite nicely because it's all evenly sliced samples, so it's quite useful for rinsing um, your jungle breaks and stuff. Uh, let's try the other one. Um, so you can do it again. Ooh. Uh, let's try that one. Ooh. And again, you can go to the endless sequencer. Yeah, and then the third sample was um, that other hip hop break that we did, um, which just wasn't evenly sliced space. So it's more of a building a, I guess the idea with that one is to build a kit. Um, yeah, there you go, there you have it. Uh, enjoy the tool.